Hello everyone! I'm finally back uploading new DIYs, arts and craft videos. For today's video, I am going to show you how I made these super cute cat charms out of air dry clay. This is the clay I am using. I got this from my local craft store. It is available in white and terracotta clay color. I chose white so it is easier to color later on. Basically, when using air dry clay, you only need some patience, minimal use of tools, your handy dandy hands to sculpt it in shape, and a container with water. This is important to soften the clay and to keep it from crumbling. If you want a video of me comparing polymer clay and air dry clay, just let me know in the comments down below so I can share to you my thoughts about why I prefer using air dry clay. Now let's start with the first kawaii cut. Make two pieces of clay into a ball, one bigger piece and a smaller one, maybe half the size of the bigger ball. Roll the big chunk of clay into a cylinder shape like so and shape the ends into a triangle with a flat top. Just slightly pinch the ends of the cylinder until you are satisfied with the shape. Just make sure one end is longer and thinner than the other. You can use a box cutter if you don't have any clay tools like this. What you want to do is to cut a triangle shape to the longer end. This is going to be the front legs of our little cut. Repeat and cut another triangle shape on the shorter end, but this time make a square top instead of a pointy one. I hope I'm making sense as I'm showing in the video. This is going to be the back legs. Make sure you save all the small chunks of clay we remove as we are going to use it later on. Smooth the rough edges until you get the shape you want with your fingers and some water. Now with a smaller piece of clay, roll it again into a cylinder shape and using your fingers, lightly pinch the top sides of the cylinder and shape it into cut ears. Keep on shaping the clay until you are satisfied with it. This part is hard to explain but you'll get by just by watching the video. For this part, press down on the cat ears to create an indent like so. This is to create a dimension for the cat's head. So it isn't flat looking giving a more three-dimensional look. Using any pointed tool creates some rough textures where you are going to attach the pieces together. This way the clay binds together instead of using any glue to fix it. If the clay is starting to harden, you can also use a little bit of water to soften the clay. Don't expose the clay in air for too long or it will start to dry making it hard to reshape it. Thank you. 
With the leftover clay we had earlier, make a thin cylinder to create the cat's tail. Using a pencil or a dotting tool, poke two small dots to create the eyes. Since we can't get enough cuts, we are making our second kawaii cut. Prepare the clay pieces you need so you can work faster preventing the clay to dry. With the bigger ball, roll the clay into an egg shape. This is going to be the body of the cut. Using your thumb, slightly flatten the ball so it's not that rounded until you get the shape you like. The wider part of the clay should be the bottom, and for the cat's head, again, pinch the sides to create two cat ears. Shape it carefully using a light hand until you are satisfied with the shape. Using the smaller clay, roll it into a small and longer cylinder to create a tail. Attach the tail from the back, extending it to the front. The two remaining smaller pieces of clay will be the front legs. This one is a chunky cat. This cuteness is not enough. Who's with me? Raise your hand. I see you. So, we need more cats. Here's our third kawaii cat. For the last piece, I won't be explaining the process since it's the same steps with the first two charms. This will be easier for you so just sit back, relax, and watch the steps carefully. If you have any questions, just make sure to leave a comment below and I will surely answer all of them. Or maybe just leave any comments for me. I love reading all of your messages. Note, if you are making this into a charm or keychain before the clay started to harden and dries completely, you may want to insert an eye pin or some screw eye pin so you can attach it to a chain or a lanyard. Leave the clay for at least 24 hours to dry completely or you can put it under the sun to dry it faster. The clay now is much harder and all of the pieces we attach were fixed securely without using any glue. We are now moving on to painting the cats. I am using acrylic paint to add details but you can definitely use watercolor if you don't have one. Just make sure you don't use a lot of water as it will reactivate the clay, making it mushy and soft. After painting the clay pieces, you can coat it with some varnish or use a colorless nail polish to protect the paint layer. I am skipping this part since I am not making this totally into a charm but for decor purposes. Thank you. 
I hope you enjoy this video. Keep on making DIYs, stay crafty, appreciate more art. I love you guys. See you on my next video.